What is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be going over what I think is the best loadout in Fortnite Reload for the zero build version. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what your favorite loadout is in Fortnite Reload. So before we get into the items themselves, I'm going to say that how I approach things in Fortnite Reload is a lot different than regular because the loot pool is very large. And the game can be pretty chaotic at times, so it's hard to get exactly what you want at all times. For example, BR right now has three shotguns in the loot pool. The gatekeeper shotgun, the hammer pump, and the combat. Reload has five shotguns in the loot pool. And that's not including mythics or exotics, which increases the amount of shotguns. So, like, there's just more weapons in pretty much every category. And then because of that, it makes it harder to get any one thing you want. And it also makes it harder to get a high rarity of any one thing you want. So what I use changes up a lot more in Fortnite Reload than it does in regular BR. Um, just because there's so many options, it's more random and things can be very chaotic. You don't have as much time to loot and kind of get your setup. Uh, there's also mythics and exotic weapons in the reload loot pool, but they're just acquired randomly. There's not a boss you go to to get them. There's not, you know... Uh, a vendor to buy it from it's just random so i'm not going to be talking about those in this video because they are super super random but a lot of them are very good if you get like the exotic heisted maven you should probably use that if you get the mythic mk7 you should probably use that like a lot of the mythics and the exotics are quite good um also the reload loot pool likely will change from time to time so if you're watching this video when it's outdated that's something to keep in mind for fortnite reload i have typically been using two weapons heals mobility and then a cover item and then for my two weapons it's mostly been an ar and a shotgun people who are used to the more recent smgs we've had in chapter 5 like the thunderburst might think shotgun smg would be ideal but the smgs we currently have in the reload loot pool have way less range and more bloom so it's harder to use them at like medium to long range so i don't really use them that much if i was going to use three weapons maybe i would but like i said i've been using two guns heals mobility and then a cover item for shotguns, like I already said, we have five options. We have the pump shotgun, the tack shotgun, the chapter one heavy shotgun, the lever shotgun, and the ranger shotgun. And the way I would rank these for zero build specifically would be pump and tack are both like S tier, and they would be kind of tied for me. Under them, we would have the lever and the heavy shotgun. Again, they're less than the pump and the tack for me, but they're both kind of equal-ish, I would say, or like how I feel about them is equal-ish. And then at the bottom, we would have the Ranger Shotgun. The Ranger Shotgun is not bad by any means, but the thing about it is, is it only has one shell per reload. And with how fast-paced and chaotic this game mode is, and the fact that it's only squads at the moment, it's just not really a shotgun I want to use. If you enjoy using the Ranger Shotgun, that's fine. But for me, I just don't think it works out very well, especially since I'm only using two guns. And the reason why I grouped them like this is I thought it would make it the easiest to explain because I talked already before about like the RNG of the game mode makes it harder to get exactly what you want. That kind of leads to me making decisions based on rarity a bit more often. So if it comes down to pump or attack, because I think they're the best, that's what I would like to use. And then between them, it would probably just come down to rarity for me or just kind of how I feel in the moment. If, I, if they're tied, I might end up using the pump. I might end up using the tack. But if I have like a green tack and find a blue pump, I'm probably going to take the pump. Uh, if I have, you know, if the inverse is out of true, if I have a green pump and I find a blue tack, I'm probably going to use the tack. But I think for zero build and for me in zero build using only two guns, a purple or gold tack shotgun would be like ideal choice. Like that's what I would want most. Um, if I find a gold pump and a gold tack, I'm probably going to use the gold tack unless I just feel like using uh, the pump for whatever reason in that moment. If there's two rarity differences, that's when I'll maybe go down to that second tier of shotgun that I talked about uh, and end up using one of those. So like the lever and the heavy, if it's two rarities higher than the pump or the tack I have, then I may end up taking it. So like, let's say, for example, I have a green tack and then I open a supply drop and I get a purple lever. I'm probably going to end up taking that purple lever. I might regret it later on, but that's kind of how I feel recently based on playing. It's kind of hard to talk about this. It's not like super concrete or 100% this or that all the time. But just the easiest way to describe it for the video, I think, would be I have pump and tack at the highest. Between them, it will depend on whichever one is a higher rarity. And then the next tier is 
lever and heavy and then if they're two rarities higher than the pump or attack i have then maybe i'll consider using them but a lot of it just comes down to preference and just how i feel in the moment it's not always super concrete like that like i said but that's just the easiest way i could think of to describe it for this video for the second weapon i'm going to use an ar um, but again, there's several options in the loot pool. We have the regular AR, the heavy AR, the hammer AR, and the infantry rifle. I'm going to disregard the infantry rifle at first. It's very good, and it is very accurate. So if you hate Bloom, this will be a solid option for you. But if I'm only going to be using two weapons, it really doesn't fit for me. Like using pump and infantry, like it could work, but like you're, you're running a thin line there, you know? And then also the ammo capacity on this is not great at eight, eight rounds in the regular version. But if you get a purple and gold, I believe it goes up to 10. Either way, that's not a lot. Um, and so for how I want to play with this being squads only at the moment and only using two weapons, the infantry just doesn't really fit for me. If you're going to use three weapons, like let's say you're using pump, SMG, and then infantry, I could see that fitting a lot better. But for me, I'm just pretty much never going to use that uh, unless it's one of the few choices I have. The hammer AR is definitely my favorite of the three remaining ARs because it has the least amount of bloom. Even when you full spray it, it's still decently accurate and you can hit shots at ranges that is like decent range for this map. Like I feel like I could full spray somebody like 50, 60 meters away and hit a decent amount of my shots and actually deal damage and melt that person. And so if you don't feel like tap firing and don't feel like managing and worrying about bloom at all times, the hammer AR is probably going to be your best choice. And I'm actually very happy they included it in this game mode um, because it was only in chapter three, seasons three and four, I think. Uh, so it's been a while since it was in the game and it was a very enjoyable item to use. I really like the hammer AR and of the ARs in the game, it's my most preferred. And if you don't like dealing with bloom, uh, then you should use the hammer AR. Like I talked about before with the shotguns, though, if there is like a two rarity difference or a three rarity difference, I may end up using one of the other ARs in instead, especially if it's purple or in gold. Like if I have a blue hammer AR and I find a gold heavy or a gold scar, which is the scar is the purple and gold version of the regular AR, um, I might end up using that instead of the hammer. Again, it will come down to preference and how I feel in the moment, but like it's hard to pass up on the purple or gold heavy or like scar sometimes. So. And if you like tap firing, the heavy AR might be the best choice for you. I just know based on reading comments uh, on my videos, a lot of people just despise bloom and don't ever want to deal with it. And if you're one of those people, I would recommend the hammer AR. Uh, for heals, you kind of got to take what you're going to get. I would like to have chug splash, but there's no coolers on the map. So it's harder to consistently get max chug splash and stay topped off on them. Big pots uh, are, are the heal I probably end up using most often because you can get it at the vending machines uh and so you can consistently kind of like buy three early on in the game and then hopefully over the course of the game you find enough to like stay popped off for big bots maybe run into another vending things like that but again you need to be a bit more dynamic i think if i have one big pot and there's three splash i'm probably going to take the splash if i have two splash even though it's preferred to me and, and then i also find two big pots i'm probably going to take the big pots um a lot of reload is you can't be very uh, strict with what you're going to use at all times. I feel like in normal BR, because the loot pool is smaller and there's more ways to get loot, you can be more strict with what you want to use. But I feel like with reload, a lot of it is just kind of, this is the best choice for this situation. I'm going to use that, you know? So like, keep that in mind. For my cover item, I want to use bunkers. I think port of bunkers are the best. If I don't have bunkers, I might end up using shield bubbles or bushes, but bunkers would be most ideal. And it seems like every supply drop I open has some sort of cover item. So if you do need more of these, uh, you can do that. And then for mobility, we have crash pads, shockwave grenades, and the grappler. My favorite would be shockwaves or the grappler. I feel like, again, it really depends on what you find and how much of it you find. If I find a full stack of shocks, I'm going to use that. If I find two shocks or a full grappler i'm probably going to end up using the grappler but the shockwaves are very good and one of the nice things about using shockwaves is a lot of other players are using the grappler and the thing about the grappler is if you eliminate someone who has one in their inventory it's going to drop as 10 uses for you so if i use three shocks to eliminate somebody and then i come across a full grappler off their body i'll just take that and then now i have a grappler and I've found decent success, or I've had this happen a decent amount of time where I can use shockwaves 
for a majority of my game or until I'm out of shockwaves or very low on shockwaves. And since a lot of players are running the grappler, it's pretty often that I'm able to find a grappler when I do need one. There might be times where, you know, it griefs, but from my experience, most players are using the grappler. So if you get kills, you should be able to get the grappler off them. And then keep this in mind also if you're going to be using the grappler yourself. When you get eliminations, if you are able to get to that loot, make sure you're recycling and getting the new fresh grappler because, you know, going from eight uses to 10 isn't like a big deal, but that adds up over the course of the game. You know, if you do that two or three times and you're just consistently having a max grappler, that definitely benefits you in the long run. So my preferred loadout, if I had everything I exactly wanted, would be a gold tack shotgun, a gold hammer AR, porta bunkers, six chug splash, and six shockwave grenades. But like I explained several times in the video, reload is a little more messy as far as looting goes or as far as getting exactly what you want. A lot of times you might have to use things that you don't prefer to use because it's the best choice in that moment. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I feel like that's like a different mindset shift to have between uh, regular BR and Fortnite reload. Just the amount of stuff in the loot pool and the, the amount of like chaos there is, I feel like really changes things. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, what you enjoy using. And if you did find this helpful or informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like some more, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.